Number 55, how does an increase in temperature affect the rate of reaction? Okay, so let's just answer this question before we get into the second part. Well, actually, I guess we'll, we'll read it, right? It says, explain this effect in terms of the collision theory of the reaction rate. Okay. All right, so how does an increase in temperature affect the rate of reaction? Well, we could think about this by uh, frying an egg, right? Here's my little beautiful frying pan. Oh, that's actually not that bad, right? Here's my frying pan, and this is like abstract art, right? And you have an egg, right? And an egg is going to be cracked open into the frying pan. And obviously we have, you know, we have a lovely stove, right? But let's just say we didn't turn the stove on. If we crack that egg into the, the frying pan, how long is it going to take for that egg to turn into, you know, over easy or scrambled egg or whatever? It's going to take a long time. Probably it's going to take a very, 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 very long time. But what we can do is we can jack up that, that temperature, that heat, right? And now you got flames going on in here. Nice, beautiful blue flames. And you have the egg in there. And what's going to start happening to the egg? Oh, it's going to start cooking. What's the rate in which those enzymes are changing in the egg, right? That's a, that's a reaction, right? That's a reaction. Yeah, it's, it's much faster, right? It's much faster to turn the heat up, you know, and cook an egg as opposed to just waiting for it to do it by itself. So... Now I'm going to get rid of this, <laughs> this lovely drawing. But if you increase the temperature, what's happening to that rate? You got it. It's going to increase. So we answered the first part. Always when you jack up the temperature is, you know, the, the rate of reaction going to be going much faster. So that's the first part. Now it says, explain this effect as the temperature increases, the rate of reaction increases in terms of collision theory. Now there's a couple of things for collision theory. Collision theory just talks about that. There's a couple of things that one, the collisions between reactants has to happen because a, they're in the correct orientation or the correct positioning in order for a reaction to occur. And B, you have to at least reach your activation energy, which is the minimum amount of energy needed to make your actual products. So if we are increasing the temperature, what's going to happen to how fast those molecules are moving? Yeah, they're moving faster, right? Increase the rate. And because you're increasing the rate, that means that they have much more kinetic energy. And if you have much more kinetic energy, chances are you will be able to reach the activation energy. The activation energy is a predetermined um, energy amount needed for every reaction. Every reaction is different. Every reaction uh, activation energy is different. Um, but if you have more kinetic energy when you're colliding, when those reactants are colliding, you're going to reach the activation energy easier or more easily just because you're coming in with a lot more energy, right? So if you're able to reach the activation energy more easily, you are able to produce something called transition states. Now, transition states is the same thing as an activated complex. So you might see transition states, you might see activation, activated complexes, they mean exactly the same thing. Um, but that's basically what we're doing here. Explain this effect in terms of the collision theory. With increase in temperature, those molecules are going to have higher amounts of energy. So more collisions will occur, right? More efficient collisions will occur. More collisions will occur that will reach that minimum amount of energy, the activation energy. And because of that, you produce more transition states, which will lead into the products. And you get a beautiful, effective collision and a beautiful, effective reaction. And that's it. I hope this helped. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you so much for viewing the video. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. We'd love to help anyone that we can. We got physics and math videos on the on the channel as well. We got like over 5,000 videos for you guys. Uh, it's just my brother and I. So just trying to make a little bit of a difference out in this world. And it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and for coming in with kind comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And hope you're doing well out there. Always keep learning and I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.